In this video, I'll show you how to create custom background images and change the colors on your Pioneer EX in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may have buttons on the side, or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer EX models. AVH500EX AVH501EX AVH600EX AVH601EX All right, so from any source, I'm going to touch the gears up here. And I want to go to my illumination settings or the color palette here. Now, I've also have illumination in my favorites. That's one way you can do that. But we're going to touch the color palette. And you can see we have a star av available there for all of the settings in the color palette. I chose to put the illumination setting out there. So we're going to start off with the illumination setting. Now, the illumination setting is the colors that you see across the bottom of the screen right here. And if you've noticed in a number of these different videos that the colors continuously scroll uh, through available colors, that's because I have this setting down on the end chosen. If you want to choose a uh, preset color, you can do that just by touching any of these on the screen. And you can see the illumination at the bottom of the screen changing uh, each time I touch one of those. Now, if you're looking for a very precise color, we'll touch the gears here. And here I can choose a different color and if I'm looking to step just a little more precisely, I can do that with the arrow keys here. So we're going to go with a kind of a purple color, I think, for right now. And here I can change the brightness of that purple color. Make it very dim, or I think I'll make it very bright, like that. Now, if I want to save that color for uh, my use a little bit later, press and hold the memo key for a couple of seconds till you hear a beep. Now we're going to go back up. And I have my presets here. There's a blue and a red and an orange. If I want to go back to that color, touch the gears again and touch memo. That takes me right back to the color that I selected previously and saved into memory. Next up, we're going to check out the theme setting. And for the theme settings, we have themes across the bottom here. And these are kind of uh, color presets for the screens. If you touch any of these, you can see the background images changing here or the background colors changing, and you can see the buttons on the screen uh, colors are changing as well. So you have uh, five different um, preset uh, colors, color themes to choose from, and we will uh, we'll go with this green one for right now. Now this is the AV screen uh, theme setting, and if we touch the home uh, theme setting, you can see these changes take effect as well. So this is the home screen, theme setting and this is the AV screen theme setting. We'll go back to the green one for right now. Now let's check out the background images. You can see we have a number of different background images that are available and again this is for the AV screen. And if I change this theme color you'll see the background images will change uh, to a different color. On the AV background I have a couple of motion images that I can choose from. And I have a spectrum analyzer available as well. If I turn up the volume uh, just one notch here you can see the spectrum analyzer uh, operating. Now, if I want nothing to happen in the background, I can choose to switch that background image completely off. Now, this is my custom image. And if I uh, select, want to select a custom image, the first thing I have to do is save a custom image into memory. So we're going to hit the X here, and we need to go to the USB source. Now, I have a number of images saved on my USB thumb drive here, and I'm just going to put that in to the uh, extension included with the, um, with the next head unit. And we're going to choose the USB source. On the USB source, over here I have my option to choose music, movies, or still images. So I'm going to touch that, and I want to go to my photos, or my still images. And the system will read the first image and tell me that if I don't have the parking brake engaged, I need to do that in order to see the still images. So I'll engage the parking brake. 
and I can see my still images on the screen here. You can jump forward and check out a couple of different ones. Ah, that's the one I was looking for. So I'm going to touch the screen here and download this to memory. I'm going to save this as both my home screen and my AV screen. Now this will take a few seconds to save the image into the system's memory. Once the image has been saved, we can go back to our uh, back to the settings. And we want our illumination settings. Remember, we're at go to the background. So we've saved our custom image uh, into the system. And now remember, we have the home screen and the AV screen. So on the home screen, I want my custom image to, to show up. And that's the image that I've chosen here. If I scroll over, I, have, I can choose any of these images. I'm going to slide over. And here's my custom image that I chose. And now on my AV screen, I can choose the custom image here as well if I want. I can choose the spectrum analyzer, one of the motion screens, or any of the other uh, still images held in the system. But for right now, I'm going to choose this motion screen on my AV screen. Now I'm going to hit the X. And you can see we're on the AV screen right now, and we have that motion image happening in the background. And if we hit the Home button, we have um, the image that we put into the home screen. But I can't see the image very well. So what I want to do here is uh, rearrange the items on my home screen so I can see my image a little bit better. So if I press and hold the AV button here for a couple of seconds, nothing happens. So I have to engage the parking brake. When I engage the parking brake, press and hold the AV button. And now I can rearrange the items on my screen. So that puts my active source, which is USB at the moment, up into the top. Then I have uh, a couple of more shortcut sources there. And I have my full AV list here. And when I have a phone plugged in, my phone operation can happen right here as well. And I have a good view of my custom image that I put in the background. Now if I choose my source, that takes me back to my source and I have a different background happening back here. Let me touch the gears again and we'll go back to illumination and let's see we talked about illumination theme background and now let's look at the clock and with the clock setting here this just changes the font for the clock this doesn't change the time of the clock you can choose something a little more interesting or more conventional numbers i'm going to choose this one for right now if you don't want to see the clock on the screen at all we can choose to switch the clock off if we do that you can see there's no clock image right here but I like to have a clock on my screen so we're gonna go right back there I'm gonna choose those bold letters or, or bold numbers excuse me right there and close it out 